Today on Selly Talks, we're going to cover scarcity mindset versus the mindset of abundance. Which one are you? That's coming up. Hello, Internet. I'm interneting because I like interneting things, because I'm an interneter. We're gonna go and get some Mexican food and talk about life. It's gonna be cool, so you should come with us as soon as I'm done shaving, because I'm bringing back the soul patch. So, interwebs, I'm with my good buddy, Tom Chaffer of Adam Sound Media, uh, multimedia uh, extraordinaire guy. Uh, where, where's your website? YouTube.com slash Adam Sound, A-T-O-M-S-O-U-N-D. This guy does voiceover, this guy does video, this guy does graphics, this guy does branding, this guy writes songs, he's a singer, he's a worshiper, he's a dad, he's pretty awesome, you should check him out. We're gonna go get some Mexican food at one of my favorite places, you know it's kind of weird, it's one of the coolest places in Kansas City to get Mexican food, it's also one of the cheapest places, and it's so authentic, take the ride with us. That's how you got so thin, right? All that exercise? I'm alive and kicking, baby. This is awesome. What a beautiful day, man. Gaffer's got like the uh, Rolls Royce of ice scrapers in the springtime. Yeah. You know where you're going, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to this Mexican place and we're talking about technology, we're talking about media, we're talking about some vloggers we love. What else are we talking about? What else is interesting? We're talking about Mexican food. We're talking about getting some guacamole. I may even really, if they haven't, I don't think they do here, but I might get a uh, non-alcoholic beer, nice and cold, try to get a frosty mug so the ice crystals kind of form. So the ice crystals form on the top of the glass, that's always the best. The best. All right, here we go, Los Tulos. Los Tulos. <laughs> Got some enchiladas and Chaffer got a massive burrito. We're sitting here roadside enjoying the weather. Life is grand. Yeah, so we're going to River Market. We're going to uh, my office, uh, Opera House. Getting caffeinated up at the Opera House, that's a good thing. We'll see if uh, Kara is working. Or uh, we'll see who's working, me and the Chaffer. The Adam Sound Media guy. In the flesh. Guy makes me feel like I'm standing in a hole every time I'm next to him. <laughs> yeah, baby. When I get the caffeine on, more to come. I want to talk about the scarcity mindset. You know, I think so much of us self sabotage with our stinking thinking. I think many of us have a, a mindset of scarcity. Uh, we have this belief, uh, this, this inner voice that says that there's not abundance in the world. This inner voice that says, uh, you know, that uh, there's just not enough to go around and we've got to scrap and fight for every little crumb that we pick up along the way. And I'm just here to say it's not true. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is not true. There is abundance on planet Earth. There is an abundance, and I, I believe it all happens with your thinking. You know, it, it's the whole scenario that we've heard a million times, is the glass half full or is the glass half empty? Uh, to me, the glass is completely full. It's half filled with water and then it's half filled with air, right? So it really comes down to your mindset. Your mindset is everything in life. And if you're walking around with a scarcity mindset, I promise you, it's holding you back. If you're being motivated or pushed in any direction out of fear, you know, it's holding you back. You're just not living up to your full potential if you're letting fear affect decisions. They say fear is false evidence appearing real. 100% true. And you know, fear wants you to forget everything and run, but you're supposed to face everything and rise. So I'm just here to say that we've got to get out of this scarcity mindset. We've got to start believing for more. We've got to start anticipating and expecting for better. You know, sometimes life will throw you a curveball. Sometimes life will surprise you with something bad, unexpected happening. I'm just here to say that you can have good, unexpected events happen all the time. You can live in that flow of good things happening. 
It's when you expect better, when you plan for abundance. Look, we all have to hedge our bets. We have to be practical. We have to plan for calamity. We have to save and we have to put up in case. And it's wise to do that. But I'm just here to say that if you have a scarcity mindset, it's one thing to be frugal. It's another thing to be moved by fear. It's another thing to have the scarcity mindset that says, man, nothing good is going to come my way and I've got to fight for every little crumb. We've got to get out of that mentality. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an abundant world. We get to design our destiny. We get to create the experience that we want to have. And it's all based on our thoughts. It's based on our words and it's based on our actions. You're not gonna take action on something that you can't believe for. If you, if you can't believe for something, how are you ever gonna go out and make it a reality? So you've gotta believe for more. You have to believe for bigger. You have to plan for bigger. You have to expect more. And when you live in that expectation, when you live in that abundance flow, when you believe that there's abundance in the world and you expect the world to meet your needs and exceed your needs, that's when you can really start moving in the supernatural. That's when you, you can really start flowing in abundance. And I've been there. I've actually had seasons where, uh, you know, I, I've been in that scarcity mindset and where I, I've watched uh, the things around me crumble. And I've had seasons where my expectation was so high that it just kept going higher. And it's when I was really moving in that mindset of abundance and this mindset that, you know, uh, we can create the shiny, happy future that we envision and it all starts with our thoughts. So if you have this scarcity mindset, I'm here to say, you can change the loop in your head. You can change the dialogue. You can start believing for more. And every time you find yourself um, you know, thinking, defeating thoughts, you can stop, you can change that loop. You know, your mind is a program. You, you can reprogram the mind. You can decide how you feel. You can choose happiness. You can choose abundance. And when you do that, that's when you really start energizing things. It's like, it's like a, a, you're a tractor beam. And the things that you think on and the things that you brood on are the things that you pull into your reality. And so it all starts with the thinking and then your words are so important. How many times have you, sit, have you made a statement that sabotaged your success? How many times have you made a statement that was a self-defeating statement, a negative statement? You know, we've got to be cognizant of the words we're speaking because your inner dialogue will decide your outer dialogue and then that outer dialogue is going to decide the things that you do, the things that you lay your hands to do. And again, since, you, since you're never going to take action on something that you don't believe can happen, if you feel helpless to manifest change in your life, then you're not going to take action to do it. So you've got to start thinking in this abundance flow, and then you've got to start speaking the, the words of abundance. And once you start doing that, once you're speaking that, that's when you're going to start experiencing it. That's when you're going to start pulling this abundance into your reality. Man, I am living proof that this stuff works. I am living proof that you literally can change your stars with your thoughts, your words, and your actions. So let me encourage you today, especially if you're an entrepreneur, if you if you work for yourself. Uh, we're, being an entrepreneur is kind of like being an artist because entrepreneurs create things. Entrepreneurs create opportunity. Entrepreneurs create new inventions. So entrepreneurs are really artists. And what do artists do? Artists can envision something that doesn't exist and then pull it into reality. Artists can take a, a lump of clay and make it a sculpture, make it something brilliant, something beautiful. Well, that's what we do as entrepreneurs. And so you can't manifest anything good if you don't believe, first of all, that, that it's possible. And so you've got to get an, an upgrade in your mind where you've got to get a software upgrade in the things that you're thinking. And once you start thinking on a bigger level and speaking those things, that's when you're going to start experiencing those things. And then it's kind of wild because it's like you're starting a cycle. You can actually pyramid up. It's like going upstairs. You, you can actually continue going higher. So if you're struggling in your business, you're probably thinking defeating thoughts. And so it's okay up to this point, but you got to stop now. Draw the line in the sand. Make the decision that you're never going to curse yourself again with words. Make the decision that whenever you start thinking negatively, that you're going to turn it around. Sometimes we're hanging around with toxic people. Sometimes we're hanging uh, or, or watching things. We're taking stuff into our eye gate and our ear gates that's negative. And we've got to crop all that stuff up. We have got to stop filling our heads with this negative crap 
and start believing for more. Folks, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Uh, go ahead and leave your comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're getting fruit from these talks. And by all means, visit me at tomselly.me forward slash subscribe. I'm going to give you an audio to get 30 leads today. 30 sources to find leads today. Doesn't matter what your business is. There's so many resources surrounding us. And if you give me your best email and confirm that email, I'm going to whiz it off to you uh, immediately. Uh, my gift to you. And until next time, this is Tom Selly saying live well, love well, and God bless. Turn into the light. So, interwebs, I'm with my good buddy, Tom Chaffer.